now we're going to make it to where whenever we score a goal, there's a set of processes that takes place to reset the scene or reset a few things at least. Let's go ahead and move this ball to zero, zero, and point five. Um, let's move these players around a little bit. Make them look a little nicer. Um, let's get a starting position for each player <clears throat> and the ball. Let's see, so let's go to <clears throat> the player and public vector three start position and then in awake we just say start position equals transform dot position we are going to do the same thing for the ball Three our position all right so we've got a start position for that um in the game manager we want to do a public void reset scene and actually i think we want to make this an i enumerator but we just want to do a new wait for seconds sorry we want to do a yield return new wait for seconds uh let's just do one <clears throat> and then we want to say all dot instance dot um actually let's create a method to reset the ball position reset public void reset uh position and we just want to say transform dot position equals start position and we want to do the same thing on the player script and in game manager we can say <clears throat> um all instance dot reset position. I should reset the ball after one second. And then we also want to get a reference to all players. So let's do a public list of player and we'll just call it all players. And we'll do an awake. And so we're going to nest the team game objects, which hold all the game with all the player game objects. We're going to nest that in the game manager. So we can just find all the players in the children, or we could use find object. Let's do find ob object of type. Let's do all players equals find objects, objects of type player, and then do a two list. I'll make it a little more flexible. Um, it's, it's less performant than Git Component, but it really doesn't matter since we're only doing it once at the very beginning. Then we can say for each player, 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 and all players, we want to say player dot uh, reset position. And on the goal, team score increase, and we want to say 
Oh, you know what? We got to make the game manager a singleton really quick. So do a public static game manager instance. And then away, we'll say if instance equals null, instance equals this, else destroy game object. All right, then back in the goal, we want to say reset scene, uh, game manager dot instance dot reset scene. Oh, it's a coroutine though. So we got to do a uh, start coroutine, game manager instance reset scene. So whenever we score, It should uh, wait a second and then re reset everything. Reset all the players in the ball. So let's get it. Let's run over here. And it did not work. Why did it not work? Object reference not set to an instance. Goal line 20. Oh, it's because there is no game manager. I have not added the game manager yet. Okay, empty parent. This is going to be. Now let's try it. And there we go. Uh, so you see how the ball was still moving after we reset it? So that's something else we want to do. We want to uh, make the velocity and the angular velocity of the ball to be zero whenever we reset the scene. So let's go into our game manager. And not game manager. We want the ball. We're gonna, we, we're gonna want to do this for the player too. Uh, rigid body dot velocity equals vector three dot zero. Rigid body angular not angular drag angular velocity equals vector three dot zero. We got to add a rigid body reference in here. Private rigid body RB. Then we will say RB equals get component rigid body. So that is that. Um, I'll get there. Oh my God. There we go. <clears throat> Also, you see how I got these errors down here? It says, or not errors, but warnings, uh, or just logs. So it just says the look rotation viewing vector is zero. And what that is doing is, you notice whenever I rotate and I let go, it automatically snaps forward every time. And that's, that's when we get that log. So I remember correctly, it's a pretty, simple solution we just need to do um on player movement on the rotation
if input dot get access horizontal is not equal to zero or input dot get access uh, vertical is not equal to zero. Then we do that. And I fixed it. All right, but anyways, we were focusing on um, processes to do whenever we score a goal. So let's go ahead, let's wrap this video up and I'll do the, the UI in a separate video.